Welcome back to David and Frank and Beans. This is your host, Danny Two Hands. Today we're doing Character Limit Exceeded, the movie review segment where every word counts. We watch this totally sick, totally wicked movie called The Departed. Okay, gentlemen, we're gonna choose our length of review. <laughs> Are you guys ready to pick that stick? <laughs> pick that stick! Okay, right on, right on. The Hemingway, only six words. Mm. Easy homework. Well, I choose you. Ah! I got the check. 280 characters. Okay, so that leaves me with the book report. It's 250 words. Are you boys ready? Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe. Uh, the book report. A few years back, I decided to watch all of Martin Scorsese's films. And while I wouldn't say this is his best work, quite frankly, that's too big of a decision to make, I can confidently say that I've never seen Scorsese handle unrelenting tension like he did in The Departed. It's a tale of cops against gangsters, and each side has their own wrath. The story unfolds as the two undercovers slowly close in on each other. Every actor destroys their role. It's an all-star cast. I couldn't imagine this movie with different leads. Leo is neurotic and unhinged, played against the calm, cunning Matt Damon. Mark Wahlberg in particular takes a simple role and just runs with it, making him the most memorable part of the experience. And Jack Nicholson is completely terrifying, somehow even scarier than in The Shining. One gripe I have with this film is Vera Farmiga's character. She plays an unbelievably incompetent psychiatrist. I think Scorsese really struggles to write compelling female characters. With the exception of Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, his movies always feature weak women that are completely dependent on the male cast. It doesn't make it hard to guess what Scorsese's attitude against women is. If you haven't seen this movie, I refuse to spoil it. It's too good the first time around. Even after knowing all the twists, the movie is just as engaging. But if you can't stand the Rolling Stones, it might be a rough ride. The Chip. Some time has passed since my original viewing of Martin Scorsese's Bostonian masterpiece. Nevertheless, it remains truly wicked and brutal. It also features more rats than a Chuck E. Cheese in Brooklyn. I give this whopping whodunit an enthusiastic four out of four shamrocks. The Hemingway. Maki Max got a bark that scars. How's your brother? She's on her way out. You all are. Act accordingly. How do you like these apples? <laughs> <laughs>